They're not allowed to come into my hall unless they have permission. <laughs> That's so wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. I can't even. They're not allowed to come in my hole unless I ask permission. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Alpha's Gaming Channel. This is my as always, and currently we're on the aisle, but we're on the aisle for a different purpose. Do you mind, sir? I'm I'm doing something over here. Go, go away. Troll. You can't go be away, mad sir. He's a buddy. Go away, buddy. sir. Shoot. <laughs> Mister, not a sir. Oh well. But anyways, guys, we're here with Zia. Um, we have a couple of announcements to make. Um, for one, <laughs> little claps in the background. For one, um, we're about to hit 800 subscribers, guys. We are like 10 <laughs> away. <laughs> oh, God. I, I am pretty happy. Like, it's just going so fast. But, um,. And for two, I'm currently using a new webcam I paid, like, $70 for, and it was a piece of crap. So, fuck you, Ozdon, or however you say the name of this camera. But, <laughs> like, they, they, they even sent me the wrong one. Can you believe that shit? The one I ordered had, like, autofocus and you could you could rotate the front of it and stuff to fine tune the you can't fucking rotate this no no just no but I'm kind of pissed off because it was supposed to make the videos better and shit and it's not even just it's blurry like and there's so much delay it pisses me off and I was raging to Zia for like 20 minutes over it. She had to listen yeah. to me for like an hour while I was trying to fuck with it. Like, it's got like 12 settings, okay, in the configuration thing. And the only one you can actually do anything with, literally, all the other ones are grayed out, is exposure. Yeah. Yeah, you should have heard her. That was funny as hell. That's like me. I was pissed. Pissed. <laughs> I mean, it's nice that you can, well, you can see the stuff over on this side behind me now. But, like, do you see that? It, like, blurs my face randomly. Like, what the fuck? It's, it's annoying. Like, I just want to punch it right now. But anyways, guys, let's, I'll leave the raging for another show. I'm really sorry. I'm just so mad. Ugh. Feel the hate just flowing through her voice. So bad. Oh god. Anyways, on to the happy bit. Away from my nerd rage. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, well, okay, I didn't do this. Zia did this. Um, I think I mentioned it at the end of the last video. Um, Zia made a Discord for me. Apparently she got tired of waiting for me to make one, <laughs> even though I've been talking about it, but she made a Discord for me, and we've got most of the roles. We have six admins. We have two admins and, or no, two head admins, which have the same abilities as I do, and one of them is Zia, the other one is Killian, and we have... Wait. hold the fuck on my... What? Just someone named Epic. Oh! Did you fucking... No, he's just logged in, apparently. He's one of my kids. From yesterday. <laughs> he is mine now. He is mine. That's this okay. Is my potato. The big potato deserves to have the potato. But anyways. Um, we have four normal admins. Which... Um, I'm not even going to explain the names. If you join the Discord, you'll know who they are. But, um, I'll leave a link to the Discord in the description below. We're finally opening it 
to the subscribers so that we can have more of a community type um, thing going. And so if you guys have requests, which we need to add that, we need to add a game request chat. I forgot about that. But um, yeah, it's, it's fine. We'll add it later. But um, if you have a game you'd like me to play, you can leave it in the game request thing whenever we actually make it. Um, but basically it's so that we can stay in contact better and you guys can stay updated with events better so it doesn't happen like it did last time. Um, I think we have pretty much all the roles set up. We have all the rules. We have all the rules for admins. Yes, the admins have rules too. Um, we have voice chats. We have all sorts of shit set up. And hopefully it will be getting added to later on as we go and as we discover what you guys want in it. And um, we do have other YouTubers in there. We have a um, couple smaller YouTubers so we can help boost them up. A couple of them are my buddies. You know, because stuff. But, um, because we're helpful. Yes. I love helping people. It makes me feel special. But, um, anyways, that's that. Um, if you guys want to join it, you can. Um, I'm pretty much always going to be there because it just makes it easier for me to record with people that I record with that are all in different fucking discords. But, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, but, um, Killian's there, Nikeo is there, Zia is there, all of you guys' favorite buddies of mine are there, so, but, um, yeah. hopefully you guys, <laughs> hopefully you guys will be able to, um, form a very nice community in the Discord, because that's what I'm hoping for. There's just random ass people running all around us. Fucking Christ. But, um... Another thing is, is you guys will be able to know when I'm playing in the aisle, what server I'll be playing on. So if you guys happen to stumble across me, maybe we can play together. Because there's that. <laughs> Um, I'll probably also have a channel saying, like, with all the links to all the servers that I play on. Uh, we also have uh, a special little room dedicated for videos, where we up... Well, I would at least put link in from when Maya uploads a video, uh, so you guys will know and can click on it to find it easily, if... YouTube is a bitch and do not notificate you for anything for that. Uh, yeah, and it's basically just for shits and giggles when we're making this to be able to communicate with you guys, figure out what you want, to help Maya improve on her skills and yes. what you guys want. So please just be patient with us. We're trying our best. This is the first time Maya and I are having like Discord. Therefore, we appreciate you if you help us or have any good suggestions for how to make it better. Or just, just you know, shoot us down. Uh, <laughs> shoot us down? Why the fuck oh, not, right? God. See, this is why Zia is one of my head admins, people. She's able to keep track of what needs to actually be said way better than I am. I'm probably going to end up cutting a lot of that shit I said earlier. And here I am, the one telling Zia she needs to try to be professional when it comes to the fucking Discord. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should take my own damn advice. <laughs> we also have different chat rooms and voice rooms if you guys want another game added. Specifically for one game or something, you can ask one of the admins or Maya for that matter. And we will consider it and try to open the room for you guys. Yes. If you have another game you want to be added and you want to be able to talk with people. Yes. Because currently we have Ark 
Conan and the Isle for game rooms. Um, we can add additional rooms for these same games if we start getting too many people in those rooms. And if you guys would like us to add additional rooms for those games. Um, but additionally, if you guys do have any suggestions for additional channels, text and voice, just um, let us know. Zia created a fucking text channel called Maya is God for some reason and told me that the reason she made it is for the other Discord members to suggest things for me to improve on or for um, improvement on the Discord itself. So you can just use that room to request for additional stuff, like rooms and stuff in the Discord. Just <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Whatever works. But I am super excited to be able to um, be like easier to get in touch with for you guys. And that's that's like the biggest part I'm stoked about right now is actually having my subscribers come into the Discord and me being able to communicate with you guys on a daily basis instead of just when I upload a video and shit like that. Yeah, but now for the serious part, Maya. We also have rules on the Discord. Yes. Uh, they're not so strict. We just like more follow them guidelines. But we do not tolerate disrespect. You do not talk down at people. You do not assault them or any form. I don't care which one. You don't show nudity if you're not over 18. And if well, you do it in a channel not <laughs> devoted for 18. We don't want nudity at all, preferably, unless it's like in art or, or video games. Fine. Like, just That's no nude saying. pictures of yourself or other people like that. Because yeah, nobody wants to see you dong, okay, people? I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, man. Not all of us is smart. Fuck, Fuck you. <laughs> Secondly of all, uh, the hobo chat, which is a chat I made, uh, is basically for doing whatever the fuck you want. You can spam it. You can put anything but nudity in it. Knock yourself out. We don't care about that chat, basically. It's where you guys are allowed to just do whatever the fuck you want. Basically. It's for those free-range chickens. With sweaters. <laughs> Why do you have to put sweaters on everything? Shut up, they look adorable. <laughs> oh god. Now, we also have considered how our warnings and banning works, because if people do not follow the rules, they will get three strikes. Strike one is not so bad, you'll get a verbal warning if you cause drama or harass with other people. Pause. Technically, if you want to include the verbal warning, it's four strikes. Whatever. <laughs> it's just... It says or, so. Anyway, you can report people to us if you feel like they have talked down upon you or done anything that makes you uncomfortable. Or broken a rule. Well, or broken a rule, yes, but we need to have either a picture or a document or something uh, supporting your case. If we fail to find anything saying the opposite, we cannot do the banning or warning for that matter. So we need evidence, so please take screenshots, do whatever the fuck you want, note down everything they said. It will be much to your help right now. Mm -hmm. However, um, witnesses, we're not too keen on accepting as proof unless it is an admin or head admin or myself, because that is pretty much just hearsay, and we don't need people ganging up to just trying to get one person banned, if you know what I mean. It's just a matter of fairness, and hearsay is not one of those things. Exactly. So. But it's not too hard to take a screenshot of the chat, so. And if you have recording software or somebody in there has recording software and you're in a voice chat, just record the conversation. That's the best way to get your case across. Exactly. And we'll try to be fair as much as possible. And if you ask 
us to look after some people because they delete some of their shit afterwards and you didn't make it to take a screenshot or whatever, just tell us. We will try to figure this out because we don't want people being assholes. No, we're, we're trying to form a community and you can't do that when there are people abusing others, so. Exactly. Now that's strike one and how to report people. We can talk about that afterward. Strike two, you'll be added to a watch list. We have a role called the watch list. You can't do all that much. And people will know that you have two strikes. Everybody will know, so. Yes, There's the watch no... list is visible from separate roles, so. So just so you guys are aware of that, so if you fuck up two times, everybody will know. So don't do it. <laughs> Basically, though, the watch list role is so we can keep track easier of those who have offended or broken rules. Um, also, it takes away quite a few of your privileges as well. It takes a lot of your privileges. Yeah. It basically makes it to where you can just type and you can just uh, voice chat. You can't use emojis, none of that fun shit. So. Yeah. Strike three. This is the final strike. You'll get a 24-hour ban, and after that, you have to message either the owner, the head admin, or an admin. And make a request for coming back. And you have to promise that you won't do it again. And you have to publicly apologize to the people you have assaulted. Uh, in the general chat. And that's when we fully accept you of, of you coming back. Also, uh, though, um... If you do get demoted by a role, which is, this is part of strike one. Um, if you do go past the verbal warning and you continue, um, verbal warning isn't necessarily a strike, but it kind of is in a sense that it's the only time you're not going to get actual consequence. But after verbal warning, you will be demoted by one role whatever your role may be and we do have a bottom rung role people so you won't be able to do shit but read messages <laughs> but, um, <Exactly. laughs> but um after the verbal warning you'll be demoted by one role and the only way you can get your role back is to apologize to the person or whoever you offended in the general chat that's the only way you'll get the role back and it can't be like, oh, well, sorry that you were offended by this. It has to be a genuine apology. And the admins can decide to wait to give you your rule back for a certain period of time as punishment. So keep that in mind. After the 24-hour ban, there is one more consequence. If you offend again after you're banned and you're allowed to come back, you get permaban. No ifs, ands, or buts, no coming back, nothing. No apology is going to help you. You're gone forever. That's the last one. And technically, that gives you four chances. Yeah? Four chances? Yeah, pretty much. We are fairly lenient on some of the rules, but there will be consequences for breaking them. But just like if you use a bad word, you're not going to get demoted. Like, if you use a certain bad word that is considered fairly offensive, you probably just get stuck in the timeout position for five minutes. That's, I mean, we have the timeout for the smaller rules that are broken, like being slightly offensive and not intending to be offensive, but people were offended by it. But we're pretty lenient, and the rules aren't there to make you guys fear the admins because the admins have to abide by the same rules and they have an additional set of rules they have to abide by so <laughs> yeah, we have like twice as many rules as you guys but it's fine because it's to what, keep what, them what, fair what, what can we say we have power we need <laughs> to be able to control it yes i mean we i trust the, my admins but we we have the ban hammer <laughs> we have the ban hammer. I'm totally gonna try to stick that gif in right here. 
I'm gonna try, but I don't know if I can. Keep trying, Maya. <laughs> we should also re probably tell them how to report people. Oh, I will. I will add a picture right here of what we made a report form that you have to fill out to report people. You can report admins if you find them abusing your powers, their powers. Um, but exactly. I'll add a picture right here. They figure out where I'm pointing right right down there underneath us or whatever but um on the discord channel you will also find um the form there in the report section and also I will try to add an example we have a certain system for the admins to respond to them to try to keep um excessive talking like typing out of the reports channel so we can keep track of the reports a lot easier and know which ones have been dealt with and which ones have not um but oh one additional thing we like she said earlier we do have an 18 plus section in the discord however you have to ask permission to have access to it we have to give you the role to have access to it and None of you that are below 18 that I know are below 18 are going to get into that channel. If I know you're 18 plus, you can have access to it, but otherwise, no. <laughs> oh, one additional thing about the roles. There is one special role for the most active subscribers on my channel, if you join the Discord, of course, that um, the ones that are always commenting on the videos get the VIP status the VIP role on the discord and that's just so I know uh, this person is always commenting on videos they're always active on the channel and you also get some additional um, abilities on the discord so that's fun maybe one more thing the potato hole is a role for a few people not all of is allowed in it and if you want permission, you gotta ask me, because this is my channel, and I don't want everybody to be able to join, because it's only going to be the most active people in the voice channel yes. that's going to be allowed in it. So the people that are in the voice channels the most are the only ones she'd allow to come into that one. The potato hole. Yes. Your special potato hole. They're not allowed to come into my hole unless they have permission. <laughs> That's so wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. I can't even. They're not allowed to come in my hole unless I ask permission. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. oh, I fucking love it. I don't know why. I am beautiful. You are, you're a beautiful soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, okay, next Which, on the agenda is the 800 like subscribers. Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. I can't find it. We are I going to, to do a live stream on ARC because oh. apparently I promised Blue that I would do an ARC live stream at 800 subscribers, so... That's going to happen. That's about all I can say for that because I don't really know what else is going to happen. But <laughs> if you join the Discord, you'll know as we come up with it. So yeah, more incentive. And you'll get to see if we're going to be having subs come on with us. Yay. I just did this weird hand swooshy thing. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, guys, that's it for all of the information that I can recall, anyways. Again, link for the Discord will be in the description. Um, if you're a subscriber and you're over 18, be sure to say that as soon as you come into the Discord. That way we can, you know, get you set up. Um, also, if you would... Leave your YouTube name, because I do remember most of my subscribers' names, at least the active ones. 
Um, so with that, I will say adieu. Okay, anyways, guys, I will see you in Discord, maybe, for some of you. Or I will see you guys next time in the next video and or live stream. It depends on which comes first. Anyways, guys, much love, and I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah.